Testing is exploratory. If you take exploratoriness out of testing, then you're no longer a tester. You're a program. You're a human algorithm. So the fundamental idea behind exploratory testing is and always has been testing that is in the control of the tester as the tester is doing the work. In other words, do you have the power to make choices? Notice how every other job we can imagine has power to make choices and no one has a special word for that. A school teacher can choose to teach a lesson in a different way and no one says, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Some kind of exploratory teaching? A manager can decide to say something in a meeting that they haven't written out in advance and nobody says, hey, that's exploratory management you're doing. Why is it that only when testers act like ordinary, smart human beings, that people seem to think they need, need to have a special word for that. And I already know the answer. The answer is, is because people think testers are stupid. They think testing is stupid. So when you do anything smart, they feel like that must be some kind of special technique you're using rather than just being a normal, clever human who was hired to use their brains. Now, as soon as you say that exploratory testing means testing over which you have control, then what's really interesting is to ask yourself, well, why would you ever not have control? And that's an interesting question because there are times when you do want to give up control, when you want to stop making new choices. And that's interesting. That's why I think scripted testing is the interesting thing to talk about, not exploratory testing. The only reason we feel we have to talk about exploratory testing is our industry is so screwed up that they've confused us for instruction followers instead of uh, intelligent people. Thank you.